Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a little different than what I usually do. I don't do a ton of accessory reviews, mainly because there's so many, you know, good channels out there already doing that. And they can get kind of boring if I'm being honest. I like to make my videos as entertaining as possible, although I fail at that 90% of the time. Um, but we are going to take these out and shoot and actually test them on the range. So stick around to the end of the video. Uh, but I thought that these warranted a full video because I've tried tons of hearing protection over the years. You know, the, the big muffs, the small plugs, there's a bunch of really good stuff out there, but they all seem to have one downside, whether they're electronic muffs and they're too big or, you know, kind of hard to wear with stocking hats and stuff like that, or they're the small plugs, but they don't really allow you to hear low level noises and talking and stuff like that. So if these work like they're supposed to, and like I think they probably will, they might just be the best of both worlds and my new favorite electronic hearing protection. All right, so today we're looking at the Eddie Modic or Eddie Modic, I'm not sure how you say that, Gunsport Pro high definition electronic earplug. So right off the bat, these are made in China. I know that's a deal breaker for a lot of people. Personally, I've seen really well-made stuff that's made in China as well as obviously, you know, poorly made stuff like this camera that I'm using right now. Super expensive, really, really high quality, and it's made in China. So they do make good stuff in China. It's not all bad. Maybe for political reasons, you want to stay away from stuff that's made in China, and I fully understand that. Um, but these are made in China, like 90% of the rest of electronics out there. But I actually got these for Christmas, so they were a gift. I didn't buy these, but I looked online for the sake of the video, and right now they're running $299, so 300 bucks. Not cheap for earplugs, essentially, but uh, those of you that have tried a lot of different ear pro over the years know how important good ear pro can be, and for a lot of you guys, it might be worth it. I know me personally, um, I would rather spend more money and just get really nice things that last me a really long time. So I can't speak to the longevity or the durability of them obviously yet, uh, but we'll see if they hold up. So I showed you guys the box. We'll go ahead and open this thing and show you what all comes in it. It comes with a lot of really cool stuff. So obviously you have the user manual that's in about 15 different languages. I don't really know why they do that. Um, and then we have this bag right here. So you can see there's about eight different tips depending on you know what size ears you have. There's a cable cord to connect the two earplugs and a little cleaning kit in there as well. They also have a tool with some different filters. I guess you're supposed to change the filters inside of the ear pro every few months or so. Um, and then a set of batteries to replace the ones that are in the earplugs. Now, the earplug itself is really cool. So this is the whole entire thing right here. And you can see just how small that earplug is. I do have the small tips on it right now. These are the ones that came on it. I tried some of the other ones. I must have small ear holes because the only ones that even came close to fitting in my ears uh, were the smalls. And I actually haven't got to shoot with them yet. I just tried them on in the house on Christmas morning and they are really snug, which is obviously good. You wanna have a seal on your ear pro so that you know no noise can leak in. Um, on the back side here, it's gonna be really hard for you guys to even see any of this, uh, but there's actually a little battery door right there that opens up. Uh, that's where you put your little battery. I guess the batteries last about two weeks of like heavy use and four to six weeks if they're completely turned off. These batteries do go dead even if they're you know not really being used. So when you take the battery out of the package you have to pull off a little film strip and that is when your four to six week battery life basically starts. So that's about it. There's no buttons, there's no volume adjustments. Um, what you see is what you get. I guess that's how they keep them so small. So I've tried other electronic ear plugs over the years and I've never found one that fit my ear as well as these do. As soon as I put these in, they just fit like a glove. Now that might not be the case for everybody. Everyone's different obviously, uh, but for my ears and I have had trouble with other ones in the past, these fit really well. And I'm assuming with the different size tips, it's gonna be that way for most people. You'll probably be able to find a set of tips that fit your ears, especially because the actual body of the earplug is so small. Um, it doesn't really have a problem going in your ear. So also included in the box is this cool little carrying case. It's actually pretty nice. It's leather. It's got a magnetic little door there and you can put your earplugs in there. I also have some spare batteries that I keep in here and that way you can just put these in your pocket, go out to the range and you know not have to carry that big old box around. So as far as the specs go, I'll go ahead and just read everything that they say here on the box. So I like these because they're specifically made for guns and shooting. A lot of ear protection that you get you know, serves several different purposes, but the fact that these are made for shooting guns, I kind of like that because 
there's not a whole lot of noises out there that are going to be as loud as a gunshot so the ear pro is kind of important so um, on the front here it just says it's made for gun sport enthusiasts professional shooters guides and instructors and hunters and it says it does come with a one-year warranty now for the important stuff the noise reduction rating on these is 25 decibels so usually with ear protection you get between zero and 30. Um, i haven't seen too many that hit that 30 you know noise reduction rating that's a really really good set of ear pro but 25 is is good that's definitely better than a lot of the other ones that i've tried like i have these uh, peltor whatever they're called 3m tactical 100s i guess um, these are really good but like i said in the beginning the only problem that i have with these big muffs is with stocking hats and you know they're just big and bulky that was the main reason why i started looking at these online and why i got them for christmas because uh, when it's cold outside and you're wearing stocking hats it's kind of hard to get a good seal with ear pro like this because if you put it on under the stocking hat obviously you know it's hard to get the hat on and if you put it on over the hat it just doesn't seal around your ear so as far as convenience goes i think these are the best because you can just put them on take them off really quick you know the batteries are okay they last a little while probably longer than they do in the earplugs but as good as these are they aren't perfect and i think for like long range days where you're not going to be taking your ear pro on an awful lot and you're going to be talking to people uh, these electronic earplugs would probably be better so the noise reduction rating is good on these when i tried them on in the house they really amplify low level sounds great like it sounds like you don't have any ear pro in and when you put them in they go so deep into your ear and seal so well um, that I'm just not used to having ear pro that's that tight in my ear and being able to hear, you know, people talking and my dogs running around and stuff like that. It was really cool. It just sounded like you had no ear protection on at all. So I like that. Um, it also does have an activation switch. I mentioned earlier that there's no volume or nothing like that. There is one switch you can go from high to low and that's basically the only two options that you have. So it's so small you probably will not be able to see it, but right there on the bottom, there's that tiny little lever there. And if you flip it up, that's on high and down is on low. A lot of these numbers look like a foreign language to me, so I'm not really sure if the high or the low setting is better at reducing the sound of gunfire, but we will play with both of those when we take them out. So, whew, all right, we've talked enough. I don't want this video to be too long. Let's go shoot. So I just flipped the setting to high and holy crap, is it sensitive. I could hear like water dripping off trees and blades of grass moving it sounded like so i flipped it back down to the low setting because i imagine for shooting that's probably the best it just sounds like i have no earplugs in right now and talking sounds normal so if you want to amplify your hearing like out in the woods or something that high setting definitely works <laughs> so what's really cool about these even looking at my flip out screen on the camera you really can't see them at all like they just look like regular small earplugs and obviously if you're wearing stocking hats and stuff like that uh, that's going to be super convenient so we're going to start out with the pistol make sure these things work and they don't blow my ears drums out and then we'll probably step up to something a little bit bigger by the way i finally replaced the sights on my glock 17 if you can believe it i've been running the plastic factory glock sights for eight or nine years you know all the thousands of rounds that's been put through that gun were with those crappy plastic sights and they were getting so old they were starting to like wear down <laughs> i noticed my point of impact kind of changing and my sights were like literally withering away so all right, nine millimeter pistol. Let's see what they sound like. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys what they sound like. You're gonna have to take my word for it because there's obviously no way for me to you know, relay to you what I'm hearing, so. See if these sights are on. They sound awesome. They sound like I'm shooting a suppressed handgun. That is so cool. I've never had ear pro that sounds like that. That's awesome. But then the ding of the steel sounds full volume. So the gunshot sounds like it's suppressed and the ding of the steel sounds normal. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's try that tiny little gong. We're going high. Yeah. Wow. They sound so cool, you guys. It's like a it's like a suppressed gunshot, like that really high crack instead of a, a deep, you know, loud gunshot. Really, really cool. Got the 19 round Glock 19X magazine. There's actually some frozen watermelons and pumpkins over there. Let's try to hit them and see if we can knock some of that snow off. All right. <laughs> Yeah. 
These sights are pretty cool too. It's nice actually having my bullets go where I'm aiming. So that's an AR550 plate, the black one, and it sounds way different. It doesn't really ring like the other steel plates do. When you hit it with rifles, it sounds really cool because it just kind of smacks it. But I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I really can't hear the target that much at all. <laughs> ah, I missed on my last shot. I hate that. All right, guys, now for the moment of truth. We got the AR-15 obviously shooting the very loud and very fast 5.56 five, or 2.23. Uh, this is a loud gun, so if it handles this well, I think they would probably be safe for just about anything. So, by the way, all these steel plates are close range rifle targets, so it's kind of cool being able to shoot steel this close. Yeah, that sounds really, really cool. Not much different than the handgun, a little bit more of a pop, but about the same. Again, it sounds like a suppressed rifle. It's cool. <laughs> I've never had ear protection that sounded like this. <laughs> I really didn't expect this video to be anything special, but these things are kind of blowing my mind. All right, let's clean up those watermelons and pumpkins. There we go. All right, we got one more magazine. I don't want this video to get too repetitive, but this is kind of fun. <laughs> Definitely my new favorite earplugs. All right guys, well like I said, I don't wanna make this video too long. This was intended to just be a, a quick little range trip, show you guys this and get the heck out of here, but I kinda of had more fun than I expected. So um, I gotta be honest, I'm in love with these things. The one concern that I had was that they would become uncomfortable after wearing them for a long time because of how tight they feel. Like at first it feels like they're almost stretching out your ear, but I don't even feel them anymore. It's like, you know, I could easily forget that I have these things in my ears. They're that comfortable, and when you're shooting, they just work awesome. I've never had ear pro that sounds like that. They sound so cool. It literally goes from like a millisecond being normal sound to a suppressed gunshot when you shoot. It's the strangest thing. Um, like I said, they're not cheap. I'm sure there's a lot of work that goes into the technology that you know gives you that result. Um, but man, I think they're worth every penny. I really do. So I might try to link these in the description box. I don't see why there'd be a problem with that. YouTube doesn't like guns and stuff, but I think ear pro should be fine. So I'll link these down below. If you're interested, go pick them up. It's not going to be an affiliated link. I don't have any affiliated links or nothing like that. So um, I won't earn any money off of it, but I do think that you would really like them because I absolutely love them. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments. And as always hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.